excited to kind of do a little bit of a recap um, just on governance and DAO and all of that since I've kind of been AFK for the last three weeks since my transition back home after gallivanting abroad for a few months. Um, it's been some interesting updates uh, pertaining to governance. Obviously, we had the um, Resonate uh, proposal path, um, which was essentially, you know, rebase proposal for um, $10,000 worth of spirit tokens to be deposited into the uh, Resonate tree. Um, I think you guys, uh, you guys recently, well, I... I can't actually remember who it was. Again, it was in my it was in my absence, in my in, you know, in lieu of me not being available. But uh, you guys had a fantastic AMA, uh, you know, with the Reverse Team Foundation. Um, it looks like uh, those guys are planning on pushing out some more content just about the Resonate platform. It looks like it didn't have the adoption that they had before. Um, but if anyone who's listening isn't too familiar with that, um, jump into the SpiritSwap snapshot, review that proposal. It's fourth from the or fifth from the top, um, just so you can sort of familiarise, you know, with the opportunity uh, that's currently there. Um, there was also the multi-sig uh, proposal or proposed expenditure so from the DAO. I just want to touch on that real quick because um, I think there will actually be a follow-up proposal being made from Nazaru. Uh, and, uh, I'm not too sure when as we planning to push that, but essentially, um, you know, myself being on the multi-sig, uh, Nazaru being on the multi-sig as well, along with a plethora, a plethora of other esteemed uh, phantomites. Um, essentially, you know, it was just becoming inherently difficult to process um, all of the expenditure related to the DAO. So there's uh, a monthly kick tools integration that we have to pay for. Um, there's paying all of the, the mod staff and admin staff, which falls under the admin guru umbrella anyway. Um, there was a reserve for unforeseen, so kind of like a, a contingency fund of $500 there. Um, which doesn't get spent, that just sort of, you know, sits in the admin group wallet um, and is tapped into when needed. There's obvious hosting, GitBot, Cloudflare, Jira, GitHub, AWS, et cetera. Um, you know, video editing and marketing fees as well. Um, so essentially, you know, having to send those out one by one individually just became really difficult for the multi-sig to manage just because, you know, it's a, it's a form of sign-off and, you know, if we're having to do, you know, one by one these transactions over the month, it just really slows things down. So we kind of thought, let's not, you know, make this any harder than, um, you know, admin guru can kind of take care of all of this because he pretty much already does anyway, and he does a fantastic job of it at that. You run a very tight ship again. Um, so we just figured it'd be easier to get the DAO to approve the multi one transaction totally of these penalties into an admin wallet and then um, Nazaru and the admin teams can sort of take care of that. Um, so thank yeah. you to the community. Um, yeah, you will see the proposal soon, guys. Um, uh, I was planning to uh, drop today. I was just, you know, like, was up for too much. So um, thought like I shouldn't be um, giving more attention to that before posting it. That's why it delayed a bit. No, that's okay. That's okay. Again, no worries. So the proposal that Ege is talking about, um, I won't go into too much detail about it. You guys will see it shortly. But it's kind of a follow-up proposal to the multi-sig proposed expenditure one. Um, we kind of just were reviewing that from a, a I, w I wouldn't say like a legal perspective or anything. I mean, DAOs are very much on this sort of gray area of reality, but more on doing things properly or how we think it should be done. We kind of realized that the DAO had an act actually officially appointed admin guru as the ops manager yet um so we just wanted to try and sort of make that a clear uh indication that you know admin guru will be resuming operational management i mean they've always admin guru um has kind of always on behalf of spirit dao anyway um but we just realized that the dao hadn't actually officially approved it so uh we'll be pushing this if everyone could just take notice of that and vote if possible that would be much appreciated. Not telling you one way or another.
another. Um, then again, <laughs> failing to pass the proposal will kind of mean that the Spirit DAO is left with like no operational format. So I hope it does get passed. <laughs> uh, moving on from that, uh, Fandom House partnership, um, decentralized betting platform. This was an interesting one. I mean, we've had a plethora of these come up in the past. And again, you know, well, Spirit Swap is a DAO, um, you know, it, 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 it does have an entity representative now, which is the next proposal that that will you know sort of cover that that's been passed. But um, we kind of I don't know. I, I would just I guess this is a good opportunity to sort of have a discussion with everyone about erring on the side of caution um, when considering you know what you vote on and how you vote. Um, things to take into consideration is you know the treasury budget. Um, the treasury address is public. Um, that has been posted in previous proposals before. Uh, again, maybe um, you guys could actually maybe have Chip update the Git book because I don't know if the treasury address is actually in the Git book under our contracts or wallet section. Yeah. So if you could just make a note to do that, just so the community yep. Um, yep. do you have transparency on that. I, I do. I do believe it was actually posted in the resonate um, in the resonate one. Actually posted, I believe the treasury address was actually posted in uh, an announcement we made when the Resonate proposal went live, because that was something that people need to consider. You know, the Resonate proposal was essentially an investment on the treasury's behalf, and with any investment, you hope to get an ROI from that. So, whenever there's any kind of expenditure or outlay in an investment, um, you know, people need to know what kind of budget they're dealing with as well. So, budget, you know, being a big part of some proposals especially if they involve a request from the DAO um so you know one thing people should keep in mind is you know what's the opportunity cost um how much money does the treasury have how many assets does the treasury have what's the treasury's income um and uh you know is it is it likely to yield a good return on investment uh be that from a monetary or be that from a you know uh a human resource perspective, you know, if, if I, I believe there's probably proposals coming up from other developer teams, um, which I'm super excited about. It's really cool to see multiple people contributing. Um, but again, you know, like you have to sort of weigh up what, what's going to be the delivery to the DAO, um, you know, what's going to be the outcome for the DAO here. So when we're sort of erring on the side of caution in relation to some of these proposals, you know, another important factor to consider is, you know, the legality of things um in terms of like casino and betting and all of that um you know you kind of need to be you kind of need to be uh, or have a casino license in order to do some of that and the DAO doesn't have a casino license um again the DAO isn't really based anywhere so it's like again this is where it's like a gray area but it's like do you really want to shine the spotlight on the DAO for the sake of something as gimmicky as a casino? Um, you got to weigh up, you know, the cost, risk, and benefits of, of, of these kind of things. Again, like with any kind of business dealing, um, you know, as, as DAOs work, um, decentralized autonomous organization, everybody who is an inspirate holder and participates in companies is essentially a board of director. You know, you guys are making, you guys are calling the shots on behalf of the DAO. Um, so these are all things that should be taken into consideration. Um, there was obviously the, this is one that I'm, I'm super stoked about the orbs, uh, creation proposal, decentralized TWAP orders to spirit swap. So it's price essentially this just means that it gives spirit swap the ability to absorb and process larger cells or buys, um, without sort of disturbing the liquidity pool too much. What I like most about this proposal is it was a relatively risk-free proposal. Um, you know, as per any kind of smart contract integration or anything like that, there's always the risk of um, you know technical factors. However, the contracts had been audited, which the orbs team you know were were, were very open about um, in their proposal. Uh, the other risk was you know. You market orders without setting a minimum price wouldn't have any guarantees uh, as to the actual amount of input assets that they will receive at the end of the orders um, which is pretty much standard with any kind of TWAP or limit order anyway and this is 
limit orders um, may only have their limit orders actually filled again. Um, it's just like any kind of you know centralized exchange limit order using the TLOT methodology. You may not always get your limit orders filled if the needle doesn't go down that far or the doesn't go up that far. So the risks in relation to this particular proposal were relatively sort of standard with what one might expect out of such a proposal or such an integration. Um, but what really did it for me is the fact that we now have multiple teams actively contributing to Spring. Um, you know, not just the initial team that built out V2, um, but we're actually having people iterate on V2 and add value to V2, um, case in point, the orbs integration. A little bit of an update for you there. Um, I actually had a, I touched, uh, actually wasn't me, I like, <laughs> Sid touched base with the uh, orbs team today, um, and we've got an update from them. They're currently, you just read the message out to you all. So they're integrating the, Full steam ahead, working on polishing the UI right now and the contract adapter for supporting the V1 and V2 routing is pretty much done. That's just in testing. So we should hopefully see a push from them in the next week or two, um, you know, which will allow for that integration to happen. Uh, so, you know, this is a from a back end. It's an update from front end as well. So as a result of that proposal being the multi-seq were able to give um, repo access. Um, you know, to the orbs team, which essentially allows them to start pushing updates on Spirit Swap. Um, that all needs to be approved, obviously. So, you know, there is like a firewall there as well that any team that get access to the repo can go pushing stuff willy nilly. It obviously needs to be reviewed. Um, so, there is some process there as well and layers of security, you know, for the DAO and Spirit Swap users. Um, yeah. <laughs> the airing on that, you know, we've, we've got this looming proposal from uh, Nazaru and the Admin Guru team coming uh, in relation to operations management on Spirit Spot. But we should also, I'm, I'm expecting to see over the next week or two, uh, probably some more proposals coming from other developer teams about other other contributions they want to make to the DAO. I won't see anything. Uh, just yet, um, but some of these proposals hope to maybe offer a solution to um, kind of a main problem that's that's going on with Spirit Swap at the moment. Nothing major. It's more of just, I guess, lack of activity, um, you know, lack of volume. So again, I won't I won't say too much about that now because I mean, until the proposal is actually made, anything could happen in the meantime. But again, it's just really cool that the pennies kind of dropped and other development teams are starting to notice Spirit Swap and starting to see uh, and, and identify where they can start to add more value. Um, and finally, the most recent proposal to pass, which was the proposal to elect the DAO representative. So the multi sig have let the DAO representative know that they have now officially been onboarded by the DAO. Um, essentially, again, you know, as I mentioned earlier, the DAO being an entity that's kind of just like not existent in any specific place, it's sort of a global thing. Um, you know, you do need to have someone who is an elect representative on behalf of the DAO. So things like, you know, signing off on documents that need to be completed for Spirit Swap, for example, it might be, you know, a chain link integration um, feed or something like that, or a listing on a centralized exchange. Um, these kinds of things, you know, they all require documentation and paperwork to be signed off, which in the past um, was done by the previous owner of Spirit Spot before it transitioned to a DAO. Now with it being a DAO, we need someone to actually, um, you know, do that. So, uh, yeah, awesome. We're kind, of, we're kind of shaping the narrative of governance and shaping the narrative of, of how Spirit Spot can actually function and operate moving forward. Um, as with any DAO, you know, the wheels kind of turn slowly because it is like the ultimate sort of, um, you know, civil governance, I suppose. You know, this, this isn't, this isn't a, um, a dem well, a democracy. Also, you guys are all of the, ele all, you know, you're all elect officials um, with obviously, you know, the mods and admins doing a fantastic job of sort of pulling the strings in the background and connecting A with B, et cetera. So, um, yeah. There is uh, also a recent proposal made in Commonwealth um, that was made, I think, around about a day ago that I want to bring to your attention. And this kind of like 
this kind of comes back to the Phantom House partnership proposal that was made um, with Bitswell. Um, I mean, this old guy um, seems really nice. The proposal was actually pretty well written. Um, I would encourage everybody, you know, who is interested in governance to go and have a look at this on Commonwealth. Um, personally, I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of don't like to comment too much because I don't like to sway people's opinions, you know what I mean? But um, again, I think this is just a case of assessing the risks uh, of the, against the benefits, I suppose, um, and assessing, you know, whether that's going to actually generate good value. I think market conditions are always something that needs to be taken into consideration um, when making these decisions as well. So I guess what I'm trying to do here by having this chat with you guys is just kind of give me some insight as to the kind of thought process you need to go through, the kind of mindset you need to be in when making governance decisions of any kind. And, and yeah, I hope that's, hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, apart from that, I think uh, moving forward, I think JJ um, JJ is going to be jumping in and doing some of these firesides um, just to help me out a little bit here. Um, JJ is, you know, one of the amazing, you know, senior admins um, that, that look after the spirit swap. Um, Nazaro has kind of done a shuffle up of, of jobs and responsibilities for um, people who are, I guess you could call them custodians of the DAO, um, that all fall under the admin guru umbrella. I'd also like to give uh, Creepy Crypto a, a massive shout out as well. Um, I forgot to do that. I should have done that earlier. Um, but for uh, joining the Twitter space uh, with our wonderful partners of One Ring and uh, Genki.io. Um, I think it had around about 250 people tune into it. Um, so again, I just want to give him a, a, a round of applause. I know he's not here right now, but um, just want to acknowledge all of the fantastic work that all of the people who are contributing to the DAO you know, are, are doing at this point in time. Um, that's about it from me for you know a nice little community powwow and update. JJ, uh, Nazaru, is there anything else that you guys want to chat about or, or add in there? Or is there anything that the community... Um, all, 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 all I can say is that I do not really have the voice of uh, creepy crypto, and <laughs> I wish that I would be able to speak just like him. <laughs> no, the, 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 posh, the posh English accent, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it makes That's everything. Fine, no, we love you. We, 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 we you love know. you. We love you. You are anyway, man. You're very charming. Very charming, charismatic guy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, if there's uh, anything in the community, I'm just kind of. Rolling through the uh, community <coughs> fireside chat, at the moment. not really anything I can say. sticking out to me here. Uh, I can say, um, yeah, I can say um, for the next week uh, we will have our uh, AMA uh, with Revest Finance. Uh, I, we will make an announcement now, uh, but mm -hmm. you will see soon. Mm, that's for another one for the next okay. week. Cool. Now I think um, the plan was you guys. I sort of have a more in-depth chat around how Resonate actually works in order to try and stimulate some adoption from the yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Uh, will that be on the fireside time or I think it was some time else, right? If I'm not wrong. <clears throat> the revest AMA, I mean. Uh what do you, uh for uh, you say uh using uh, no, no, when on the fireside? No, no, no. When is it going to be? It's not coinciding with guess, the fireside, uh, right? 1 p.m. UTC Wednesday. On Wednesday, Wednesday. yeah. Wednesday. Okay, okay. It's not okay. overlapping. No, don't no. worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. No overlap. Yeah, so the community can have that to look forward to. If there is any interest in understanding, you know, how the reverse protocol, how the reverse protocol actually, um, well, sorry, how the resonate product under the reverse protocol actually works. Jesus, that's a time twister. Um, feel free to tune into that as well, guys. Mm. Uh, I got a, I, I got I got another one topic by the way. If you if you we are willing yeah. to share yet, I mean, yeah, uh, I, absolutely. Like this is what this is for. For the, I mean, uh, maybe we can talk about the um, um, theory dev that, that we are planning to go. Um, I was I was kind of going to. I I did kind of allude to that earlier. 
Um, I kind of wanted to wait for him to actually make that proposal before I say it, just because I, I don't want to sort of like fall into the trap of like announcing that something might be coming and then it doesn't come, especially if it's like, again, this is, this is, it's a funny, it's a funny thing, right? It's like, DAOs are great and all, but the, the wheels can really move slowly and they sometimes is in total control of things, you know what I mean? So because that's like a external contributor that we don't really have exact control over, um, the delivery of that or timing of it, I just, I kind of feel like it might be best for us to, I mean, if you want to talk about it, Eka, I mean, can. Uh, so yeah, we can, we can just say like, uh, we are just planning to do something on the development side with uh, Divish, Fear Dev. That's, I think that would, uh, wouldn't hurt anyone uh, for now. Okay. Well, you heard it here yep. first, folks. The Ege Spiller Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> You're the new Alpha Spiller, sir. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, he's probably going to hate us for this now. He's going to start getting DMs from you guys. <laughs> Uh, I'll let you fill those ones again. Uh, yeah, but, all yeah, right. it's, no, it's well, all the planning just stage. So, just kind of earmarks, you know. I mean, I mean, Nick, it's all the planning stage. Yeah. Nothing is um, guaranteed yet. But just, you know, since we are dull, we can be yeah. more transparent about things, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's not so much about transparency. It was more just about we can't we can't confirm at all yet. You know what I mean? It's uh, there's been an expression of interest from a of potential development development teams contributing to the DAO. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll start seeing some really cool proposals coming up soon, similar to the one that Orbs made, um, whereby yeah, people are gonna start um, you know, contributing and adding to the DAO. I mean, as it is, you know, a lot of people kind of don't see this just yet, but you know, V2's been designed um, to operate in a very autonomous manner. Um, you know, we don't need to do distribution calls anymore. Everything's automated. So, like, it kind of just runs on it on its own. Uh, it's, a, it's a beast of a machine. But, yeah, um, part and parcel with that is, you know, people recognizing it's not as a doubt, an opportunity to come and, you know, add their own little, you know, bootstrap, I suppose, um, you know, bootstrap on their own sort of value um, and ideas and iterations. And, you know, that that was ultimately the plan. So it's really cool to actually start seeing that manifest. Um, yeah, but lots, lots of exciting stuff coming up, you know, irrespective conditions and volume uh, on Phantom right now. Um, you know, the DAO continues to push on and function. So it's nice to see that. Yep. Um, so maybe uh, we, if, there's... if there's any questions or, um, you know, like, um, yeah. if anyone would like to talk or something, uh, we can just, um, we can move on to that part. Um, guys, if you have any questions or maybe if you want to just talk, talk with us, uh, please raise your hand, write something on the fireside chat. Uh, we all just be, um, watching. I think we're just waiting more alpha from you. That's the. <laughs> ah, I'm at, at my limits. Now you. <laughs> take it. Take, take some advice from me again. <laughs> Alpha's a double edged sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is why Sid always used to put a muzzle on him. I'd get us some trouble in the work. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, nobody got anything to ask? So I wonder if that means that everybody is happy what's happening uh, around, or everybody is just so you know unhappy. I, mean, with I don't know. I mean, I don't know nobody wants to talk. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, know, I mean, I, I can say um, we weren't doing fireside for three weeks. Uh, yeah. But like after we do it, we we'll still get the people here. So I can say they're happy, happy about it. Not talking about the market sentiment, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. and definitely good to see familiar faces. That's that's that really matters. And uh, I, I mean, guess, from now I on, guess, I guess like yeah. one, like kind of on the topic of markets. You know, in times like this, um, uh, 
leverage, you know, leverage trading sort of something that's quite common. Um, people aren't really sort of buying into tokens per se, but rather sort of like to play the leverage casino. One one update that I would like to bring to people's attention is um, so eight mode uh, has been sort of postponed permanently at the stage, at least by the original team. It's super unfortunate about about that, but I don't know if people got a chance to come across this, but um, there was a situation where there was a leverage trading platform called B0X uh, a while back, well, not a while back, but quite recently. Um, they were actually a DAO, and even as a DAO, they got taken for a run by the CF for not KYC and ML complying. Um, so it was like, you know, one of two options whereby we have to, like, geoblock the entire country of the KYC users, which kind of goes against decentralization, um, or discontinue. So, unfortunately, if big plans for that but um at this point it's kind of more risk and reward um if people want to if you if you want to read about it further um just google sort of b0x bzerox and cftc and there's a plethora of articles that came up there but it's kind of more risky than it is reward especially for the dow at this stage um their dow got fined a quarter of a million dollars which would be a huge hit um and again it's just i guess it's just not worth having the spotlight shone on the dow uh in light of the fact that you know regulation and compliance seems to be a bit of a hot topic at the moment right now it's a very much a gray area um and i guess it would be best for the dow to err on the side of caution um again you know i mean if the DAO vote for something to be pushed, then I mean, you know, it has to be pushed. But that being said, uh, you know, every developer team that contributes towards Spirit DAO, it would be up to them as to whether they wanted to take take up that development opportunity or not. Um, because for some of the states based guys, it, it would very much be putting them by the fire. So these are all things that I just, I, I guess, you know, we need to sort of think about collectively. Uh, you- and it's. Um, when you said uh, leverage trading, um, like why don't we go even dirty and uh, open a series of financial advice with Degen series? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I'll go, I'll go on Bloomberg and chill up on me. Um, <laughs> um, I, I think, um, I, I think many, many people would love to um, um, get from to get advice from you on the leverage side. But I don't know what happens oh, next man. with our legal side as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess this might not be like construed as, as financial or legal advice, but um, an interesting market that I'm keeping my eye on at the moment um, isn't even crypto related, it's Forex. Um, the, uh, there, there's a lot going on with the glitz in the UK at the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure their pension fund is about to literally collapse all together over the next day or so. Mm-hmm. I think Liz Truss and um, BOE gave the pension funds like three days, which was like three days ago to balance their books. Um, and I think by close of business Friday, uh, there's probably, probably, there's going to be a bit of turmoil in the, in the GBP USD market. Um, yeah, but also, I guess, you know, from a macro factor, um, Europe's not in a very good position at the moment. Um, the cost, I was reading a tweet last night, and I think the cost for electricity, and I think it was Italy, for one particular individual who put a tweet out about it, the average monthly electrical bill was 120 bucks month on month, year on year. Um, and now that's sitting at around about $1,200. So that's quite a sizable jump. Um, obviously, you've got supply supply chain issues going on due to the um, stuff that's going on between Ukraine and Russia right now. Um, and again, you know, you've, you've also got to look at the global macro sort of condition in the sense that you've got the Fed being extremely hawkish at the moment. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see the next basis point increase at 100 BPs, um, just given the CPI that came out, I think it was only like a couple of hours ago, um, came in much higher than expected. 
uh, which basically says that inflation definitely hasn't peaked yet. So um, with the US being so hawkish and the Bank of England, they just keep doing new turns right now, flip-flopping everywhere, um, not really knowing what's going on. No, they don't really know what they're doing right now, evidently. Um, I see there being a lot of potential in terms of leverage and across those two uh, forex markets. Um, again, none of this is true as, as financial advice, just sharing ideas, I suppose. And um, again, also remember that those two particular um, forex classes have had a significant fall already. So it might be it might already be priced in, but that's that's something to consider. I don't know what if uh, what kind of degeneracy been up to uh Nazaru and and JJ I wish we had have Sanko here so he could give us his daily NFT purchase update uh actually Usanko is here he is just waiting silently to yeah to give He's us some the, of his wisdom yeah Usanko but I have I have no permissions <laughs> yep Usanko See, yep, so that's why you don't. This is, this is they my demoted me, so I can't talk. I have can to we, beg can for permission. Can we give him like the doctor title? He is the real doctor. <laughs> yeah, <An> FD doctor. Through <laughs> 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 financial <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> buy NFTs anywhere right now, I think. I lucky into a, a profit uh, for some reason. But other than that, I don't think anything is a good buy right now. I think it's a good buy. Yeah, just chill. Uh, keep what just you chill. have, but don't buy anything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say everybody's of their mindset right now. Yeah. Um, so providing stable coins to a stable LP is probably the safest bet. <laughs> in this <current> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, you know, if you've still got a little bit of um, LP sitting on V1, which is just insanity considering it's not incentivized, right? Uh, make sure to shift those over to V2. Uh, there's a whole medium article on how to do that. And um I think that's just kind of like a sign of how apathetic the market is, right? Um, the fact that there's still majority of liquidity sitting on V1 kind of just shows that um, I feel like the growth of Phantom at the time and the growth of Spirit Swap um, was kind of during a new round of, of, of retail investors coming in. And I feel like they've probably just forgotten about their LPs sitting on there and haven't transitioned them over yet, which is fine because the um, master router still routes through them. It just means that those people aren't really gaining the benefit of those LPs at the moment. Um, yeah, interesting. By the way, uh, another update, I guess, the guys um, did push distribute yesterday. So V1 still requires, v, v, well, V2 runs autonomously. V1 does still require um, intervention from time to time in terms of calling distribute on the Inspiro um, distribution function. Uh, it happens automatically on V2, but V1, the guys have kind of been leaving it um, for a couple of weeks just to sort of let that amass and build up just because there haven't been as many swaps going through the v1 uh contracts purely due to the fact that v2 offers cheaper fees so even aggregators have been favoring v2 pools even though they are sort of lighter on liquidity um but that said you know v1 has um been building up some fees over time and so i think the guy's plan at the moment was to uh go ahead and call distribute on that every sort of two or three weeks so if you guys um go into v1 and uh have a for a page um there should be there should be a claim for everybody there uh to make at some point um i believe the distribution the, the recent distribution value was around about five hundred and twenty eight thousand um experience. so uh yeah for people who have completely forgotten about v1 migrated to v2 um, just remember to check v1 from time to time because there will be fees available for claims for holders out there as well
Very good. Right. Well, I can't see any uh, questions or comments or requests from the community to come up and have a chat with us lovely humans. So I think we'll wrap this week's uh, Fireside up. It's been around about 43 minutes. So nice little chat with everybody. Uh, Ufok, uh, always good having you on as well, you beautiful soul. Love that. That accent. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, look, everyone next week, JJ will kind of be um, taking the main role on MCing uh, Fireside moving forward. Yours truly will still obviously be around for a powwow. Um, but, uh, yeah, JJ is going to be resuming that duty as per his new thinking of old. And uh, yeah, look, thank you everybody for joining us. Any questions, dump them in the fireside chat and we can pick them up and cover them next week. But for now, yeah. uh, enjoy your weekend, everybody. Have fun, be safe, and let's have some outro music, Ege. Yep, for sure. Thanks for coming, guys. Um, love, love, love seeing you guys uh, back in the fireside again. And uh, I can say, like, see you in the next week, right? <laughs> See you next week, people. See you guys. Thank you very much, everyone. See you next week. Bye-bye.